Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here with Andrew and in honor of the holiday spirit, we are going to watch the very first Elf on the Shelf video that we made, react to it together. Okay. Um, I don't know about you, but I haven't watched this in, I don't know how many years. This was 2016. Five years ago, I think this I watched this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I really, like I have a memory of it, but not too good of a memory of it. Can't even remember what happens. Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, Let's just let's just do it. Let's yeah, let's just jump right in. Let's get started. Anthony, can I use your ointment for my pet turtle? What is that? It's my elf on the shelf. It's a magical elf that reports back to Santa every single night on how good or bad I've been. <laughs> That's when you worked at Target. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by your red shirt. <laughs> yeah, so, I remember. So contrary to popular belief, some people think I'm wearing red on red because of the Christmas spirit, which would make sense. It worked for this video, but it's really because I just got off a shift at Target and they make you wear red on the outside. And I uh, was too lazy to change. Did I work at Target yet? That I yes. can't remember. You, oh, I did Yep, you also got off a shift that same day, but you were normal people close to Target because you were undercover. I think it's filming. It's been doing that all morning. I woke up to it like that. So you're replacing me. No, Andrew, Andrew, you're still my best friend. The elf is really just a real elf. He moves around every single night and he's doing something creative and different every single day. Like, I'll show you what he did yesterday. My facial hair is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely awful. <laughs> what is it now? I better. Uh, what I think is funny is that, I don't know if you remember this, but that whole opening was shot with two cameras. Remember we- I do remember when we did that for a short time. Yes. I do. And that made life a little easier. It made it easier until our microphone setup and our lighting setup got so professional and got more complicated that it literally got impossible. But yeah, we, we used to shoot with two cameras, which is why we had so many reaction shots of you there right. that were natural to the conversation. And um, yeah, we can't shoot like that anymore because of the way that our setup is. Right, because uh, we're too good for that now, <laughs> apparently. Let's continue. Open the toilet. No. And open the toilet. Anthony, how many times do we have to go through this? This is classic. I don't want to see the size of your Right, right here is classic. Not the size of my poop. The elf pooped. Look, look at this. Oh, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Don't look, don't look. Oh, I forgot to flush. The I'm so sorry. Oh, that's embarrassing. I that That's yours? Well, yeah. It well, it was. It's gone now. You know what's funny about that? What? <laughs> the fact that I didn't want to see your poop, right? But it ended up being <laughs> my poop. <laughs> you left it in the toilet. Um, also, what I think is funny about that is um, that is the part that so many people commented on. Mm -hmm. They were like, "That those are Hershey kisses. Those aren't poop. Like, yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was. That's the joke. That was, that was meant to be the funny part. No. Um, apparently, we're not funny enough because nobody got it. Nope, we're not funny. It's, you had me all excited. Ow! Ow! I swear the elf is real. So what you're saying is, the elf is a real friend and I'm not. What? No, I didn't say that! I'm getting replaced! No, Andrew, Whatever. Andrew! Oh, so dramatic. He has some strange poops. <laughs> so, our acting today is still over the top, but back then, we were so over the top. I don't do that anymore. Andrew, Andrew! That's super high-pitched. I can barely even do that anymore. I miss it a little bit. I miss it a little bit, too. It's almost like theater acting, where you have to act big. Yeah. But you but don't have to do that on camera, I, I don't think. I literally can't do that anymore if I wanted to, or else I'd destroy my voice. Oh, come on. It's supposed to be my best friend. They should are so bad. Like, I'm looking at it, it's like a neck beard. Like, look, it doesn't, like, what is, like, my second chin, like has a beard of its own. That's what it looks like. I know who I'll call. Uh, what would I call Grandpa? Do nice. Uh, uh. uh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what do you want? Can you help me out? No. But I just need one quick favor. No. You know how Anthony's like my best friend? No. Well, he he kind of has a new best friend right now, and I'm trying to like get back at him, trying to get him back. Get back so, like, at I him just don't and get know him what to back. Do. you think you can help me? All right, fine, I'll help you, but only because it involves making my grandson's life miserable, and we all know that's what I live for. Okay, so, he just got this elf on the shelf, and he's replacing me with it. So like, what do you think I should do about that? Just get yourself an elf on the shelf! Grandpa, you're a genius! Oh, 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 me? Yes, I know. Oh, okay, well. 
I feel like Elf, uh, uh, Grandpa's voice has changed so much. Grandpa's voice has changed because my voice changed. I can't do that high stuff anymore. I, don't I can't understand. Make... Why would Grandpa's voice change if your voice changed? That kid's a doof. All right, now what am I going to wear tonight? <laughs> Time for my new best friend. My old car. Look what I got. What is that? Oh. Look what I got. Still in a bag. Oh. Look what I got. A box? The dwarf in the drawer. Our humor has not changed. Not at all. We still do things like that, like, still in a box. <laughs> that is just naturally a part of who we are. You know what's funny? Now, tell, tell me if you're doing this too. I'm noticing everything different about, like, your room and the yeah. way that we, like... Present like, ourselves? Yeah, because, like, I miss, like, the... The posters and stuff. Granted, this is the coolest addition to your room. But <laughs> I miss like the posters and stuff, like in the colors of the wall. It feels very nostalgic and it's making me miss it a little it bit. It is nostalgic, but like, let's be real. The tan walls are not it. The blue looks so much cooler. It looks way better. My own elf, but I mean, you gotta actually call Santa and- Whoa, no, 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 Andrew, you need to get him out of here right now. Well, why, he's cute. No, 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 really nice. Andrew, Andrew, it looks a lot like you, first of all. Second of all, the elf and him do not get along. What do you mean? He's the nicest guy ever. We just spent all day together. No, he's like the anti-elf. Have you read the book? You know I can't read. <laughs> Is this your Will that joke ever end? Uh, it did end in part 10. We, we concluded that. <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> I, I haven't watched the elf series in a long time. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, we did conclude that. Can we appreciate how much better our audio quality is now than it is here? Absolutely phenomenal. I can't even hear what we're saying here. Nope. We're like a million miles away from the microphone. We, we actually were because we were using that two camera setup. It's funny though, because this still has over 7 million views. I know, I know. <laughs> Do you guys Which... even care about quality? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Okay, let me bring up um, that when we made this video, we were not expecting this. Me and you, did think that it would do better than average because it was tied to the Elf on the Shelf, which is like a popular thing. However, when me and you first made this, and I don't know if you necessarily were thinking this, but when I first posted this video, the whole joke of this video was that we were two grown men playing with an Elf on the Shelf that's for children. Right. Like that was like the whole point of it. It was just supposed to be super ridiculous and over the top. and. It was for an audience that was supposed to be our age, but what ended up happening was the opposite. Right. And it ended up attracting, and in completely, it ended up attracting a bunch of children, and not in a bad way at all. It wound up literally jumpstarting our entire YouTube career. Correct. If it wasn't for that happy accident of attracting the demographic we weren't trying to attract, we probably wouldn't be doing YouTube as a career. So, um, I'm nostalgic for this series, and I know a lot of you guys are too, and thank you so much. I, uh, I know a lot of you grew up with us and this series, and now we have people our age watching us yes. because they grew up watching this with us. Um, it's so crazy to think that this was five years ago. So much has happened since then to now. I know. Like, I'm married. It almost <laughs> like, feels what? like longer than five years ago. It feels a long time ago. Yeah, this feels like 10 years ago to me. So, you're using him. No! Wow. Real nice. See, you should leave while you have the chance. Agreed. Yeah, you better tell Sandy he's naughty. The elf is a better friend than you! <gasps> Did you mean that? No. Okay. I'm getting replaced. <laughs> what? Yeah. We should get rid of the elf. Can we talk about when we were filming the dwarf? You shook the camera as if he was talking. There's only one rule that you have to follow, so I will come back and be here tomorrow. Please do not touch me, my magic might go, and Santa won't hear all I've seen or know. That is my voice. I know. You would tell me that else magic goes away if you touch it. <laughs> That's a great idea. Andy will be my best friend in no time. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right. I would never this forget. Me touch the elf. I hope you guys appreciate that I'm a moron on the internet for you. <laughs> be so mad at me. He loves that thing. He'll never be my best friend. So we'll just have to touch him when he's not looking. Andrew, get out of the bathroom. You've been in there all day. Uh, uh, come in. 
<laughs> That's still a good joke. That's a really, oh, really good joke. Gosh. Oh, Larry. <laughs> Slam. We're gonna ring the doorbell, and when Anthony leaves his room to answer the door, we're gonna sneak around back and touch the elf before he gets back. You ready? Let's go. <gasps> that must be my ointment delivery! The o ointment jokes, they never left, actually. <laughs> Never run again. <laughs> you look a lot better now. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> hey. So. You know, the weirdest thing- This is such a funny video. It is. No one was there. Weird. <laughs> That's weird. He is so on to us. Gotta go. Time my shoes. Oh, Drake and Josh meme was on the screen. Anthony, Anthony! Anthony oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, oh. that is, Classic. that's a callback to an older video, but what's funny is that everyone knows this video and not the other one, so I've noticed that when people find the other one, there's people commenting on that saying, oh, that's from Elf, when it's actually the other way around. Right. I'm coming, Christopher! Let's go. Okay. This is great. We have so much time now. Anthony's gonna take so much time trying to find Christopher. What are you doing? Hey. Where does thing just happen? I heard Christopher call my name, go downstairs, he's not even there. Wait, weird. Wait a second. He's not even there, and then you just randomly show up in my room. The doorbell, Christopher calling me, it's all adding up now. It's all making sense. Oh, I am so dead. You know some trying to touch you off? No, I, I mean nothing to him now. I'm, I'm worthless. What is my grandma going to say? She loves Anthony. Grandpa doesn't like him too. Why doesn't your grandpa like me? My grandma? Your grandpa. I think I said grandma. And then you said, your gr my grandpa doesn't like him too much though. Oh, I don't know. I never, didn't get the chance to meet him, a ask him. I, I got a chance to meet much, but I mean, who does? I know my grandfather. I have met my grandfather. Just to clarify, I miss smoke. You miss smoke? <laughs> But anyway, I'm so dead right now. Oh no, here it comes, he's gonna say it! I forgot to cook my chicken pot pies for my date tonight! You forgot the chicken pot pies for your date. Thank you for reminding me! You should do that. Anthony has never had a date. If I cooked chicken pot pies for a date, I don't think I would have a second date. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, listen, chicken pot pies actually have take a lot of work to make. As someone who cooks very often, like, they're not easy, and usually a good one is very hard to do and time consuming. So, if someone made me a chicken pot pie for a date, they would get a second one. We're in the room with the elf ourselves now. Tons of time. Darwin, you know what this means, right? And he's gonna be my best friend again. And now I'm shaking it as we're talking. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Don't kill the cows! Don't! Andrew, this is no time for napping. We have to get out of here. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, no, you're not going to jail. That's the firefighters outside. I set my chicken pot pies on fire, and we have to get out. Every single line. This is no time for napping. <laughs> <laughs> if I said every line like that today, I'd be. I enjoy it. I would be going insane. Come on! I still don't want to go to jail. You saved me from the fire. I knew it was your best friend. And not that stupid elf. The, the elf! The elf is still inside! No! Look! Darwin the dwarf saved him! He's a hero! It's him and the elf! What? Darwin saved him, but the elf is literally holding him like a child. <laughs> How is that even possible? Because it's a Christmas miracle. No, no, it's not! Dedro! No, I'm serious. Look, they're best friends now. No, we need to separate them right now. No, Anthony, you don't understand. They're best friends. This is a true love story. This oh is what the holiday Andrew. season is about. Anthony didn't get any presents for the fifth year in a row. Have you gotten presents since? No. No, I haven't. Um, I love this ending here, though, how you insult both of my parents. Did I? Do you remember your parents? Isn't this how they met? No! They met at a farm! Yeah, well, your dad's a dwarf and your mom's an elf. This is how it's supposed to be! No! 
Yes. It's the other way around. Oh. Is that is that insulting? Slightly. You said that was the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> so your I mom's say, a dwarf and your dad's an elf. I didn't say I didn't also insult them. Have they ever seen this? Of course. And they didn't say anything to me about it. They didn't it. say anything. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't even notice. That's <laughs> it. That's the video that started it all. But part one is, is done. It's funny because we didn't even label it part one. We didn't know. If you want to see us react to part two, let us know in the comments down below. I remember part two even less than part one. Yeah. I, I do not remember part two <laughs> at all. It's funny because I'm looking at it and it's like, I can't believe we did 10 of these. I don't remember <laughs> anything. I remember the last three. I remember the one that Jess was in. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you guys want, we'll react to all 10. You just got to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at Cult 35 and on TikTok at RealCult35 for some extra bonus content, and that is about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you guys again next Friday on both this channel and the main channel with a brand new video. Bye, guys.